this is where we plan to plant the peas and the beans so they're separated from the other six because in here there's more space but for now we'll just have to um, screen the soil because it has a lot of rocks Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're just gonna start screening the soil. We found out that the garden plot intended for the beans and the peas has a lot of big stones. So we ended up having have to dig the soil and then screen it. Then the stones, we just put them on the driveway. Then we repeat what we did on a uh, same with what we did on the four rows on the other side um, we put some cardboard some shredded paper for water retention then cover it with the finer soil and then mix again um, the good quality soil that we took from the back After prepping the soil, Tim put some wood sticks um, that will later on help support the beans and the pea. So for now, we're just putting the um, wood stick but later on, we will put something across so that um, that is where will the um, tendrils because they tend to, for like for the peas, they tend to climb using their tendrils. So, we'll just put like a pole or something sturdy yarn that they could climb on. At this time, we are done preparing the furrows or the garden plots for our vegetable garden. So, on the right side, we have prepared six rows. Though we ended up only using five rows. So, that's for the radish, lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, and the kale. And on the left side... We have prepared the garden plot for the beans and the peas. And we also have already put some wood sticks for plant support. 